Well, howdy folks, and thanks for joining us. This is another motorcycle camping video. Um, Brett and I are definitely more into comfort than we were when we were younger. We did a lot of tent camping on our motorcycle without a trailer, just a small tent, a small um, in self-inflating mattress type deal. <sighs> Not much fun really, and the older you get, the less fun it is. So we added a trailer th this past year and we looked at the uh, motorcycle pop-ups but for the money we just couldn't find anything that really gave us what we were looking for. And we tried a couple of different tents. We tried a cot tent which was a miserable failure. And then I found these. This is um, a three-person connect tent. It's an Ozark Trail. And what you do is you buy a 10 by 10 straight leg canopy. I did get the instant canopy, which is a little bit easier to set up because we wanted it a little bit easier. It fits fine in the trailer. Um, one of the very first things that we did is we took the canopy out in the yard and we sprayed it with two cans of that silicone waterproof and stuff because these canopies are not very waterproof. And if you've ever tent camped and had your rain fly leak, it really, really stinks. So we did the um, waterproofing on the canopy and we got the connect tent that goes up under the canopy because we wanted to be able to use the canopy for a rain fly. We don't want to get wet when we're camping. And 10 by 10 is plenty big enough for two people and it's way bigger than any um, motorcycle pop-up. But we did some other modifications. Um, Ozark Trail also has these side walls. And we added two side walls. But because the um, tent takes up one side and half of two sides, the second side wall I cut in half and added a few little ties and stuff to it and I actually over here still have to go back I'm gonna have to get Brett to help me but this tie right here is gonna be sewn on the corner seam of the tent right here so you can tie the sidewall to the tent and hold it all together now that's for a few things um, if it's really windy or it's chilly and it's raining we want to have somewhere to sit and you've got a 5 by 10 area that you can sit that's outside of your bed area there's plenty of room for two chairs but if we're camping somewhere that doesn't have bath houses there's also plenty of room in here that you can take a shower um, we do have a folding toilet that you can set up in here so you can go to the bathroom in privacy and that kind of stuff is important if you're taking a trip or even you just want to go sit up in a campground somewhere if there's not bath houses that are private that are not clean you want to be able to do those things when you're camping now these side walls are really cool and if you decide to do this I definitely recommend them um, there's a paper towel hanger built into them and they have all these pockets that you can keep your stuff organized in and you can tell I've got a lot of stuff in them. And on this connect tent, um, they also have pockets down the center of it. Now, I wish those pockets were on the inside so I had more room to put stuff inside the tent and organize stuff inside the tent area. But I guess they did that because they didn't really plan on people buying this and the sidewall together. But I do recommend this tent with the side wall, the instant canopy, uh, it really all works good together. I haven't been out in, in, in a um, real bad rainstorm yet, but it seems to hold up pretty well in the wind. And I want to show you what we got inside here. The door unzips all the way down, all the way up, so you can walk into it without having to bend over. And we have an air bed in it. Um, it's an elevated air mattress so you don't have to worry about um, it deflating in the middle of the night and a rock poking you in the back or a stick poking you in the back 
There's plenty of room in here with the air bed for all of our clothes, our helmets, our shoes. We did bring our shoes in last night. Um, I'm going to add a little dust pan and wisp room in our trailer so that we can clean it out better. I just kind of brushed it out this morning with a sock. But there's even enough room down the side of this that you can kind of walk down the side of it. You can at least stand up on the side of it so you can get in and out of bed without having to crawl over top of each other. I mean, you can see there's not a ton of room, but there is enough room that you can stand there. And I really like that. Um, it has large windows. They're all closed up, but you can see all the windows. So it has really good ventilation in here. You won't suffocate to death um, if it gets hot. The top is all screened, which keeps it cool too. And because that canopy is white, that helps keep it cool. I was thinking though, we've camped a few times where it's really cold and you want to be able to hold that ceiling heat in. Uh, the last time we were camping and it was cold, I used some of those little emergency blankets and just kind of stretched those across the top of it. And they do work really well for that. Um, they'll hold the heat inside and you stay probably 10 degrees warmer inside your tent just by closing up that screen with emergency blankets. You just go between the canopy or the rain fly and the screen and it works pretty good. This just holds so much and it gives you room to do so much. I mean, you can get comfortable here even if it's raining. You've got somewhere to sit and with the side walls the way we've got them, you can adjust them so that either you have a breeze and a view or you can block the breeze and the view if you need to um, to stay warm for privacy to keep the rain off of you it's just a really really nice setup you definitely don't have to bend over I would say the center of it is probably 10 feet high anyway and that helps keep you cool when it's hot too so I will put links to this. The whole thing, I think with the air bed and the canopy, the side walls, we've probably got about $250 in it, but that's a whole lot cheaper than the motorcycle pop-ups. And it does a lot more, or at least it appears to me that it does a lot more because like I said, I looked at them we studied them, we researched them, and we just could not find anything that would do what this will do. There's plenty of room to hang a solar shower in here, uh, you know, whatever you need. And you just don't have that with the motorcycle pop-ups. And it does all fit in the trailer nicely. And it really, I think, sets up quicker than the motorcycle pop-ups. So if you're looking at something like that, you might want to look at something like this. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe. We'll be doing more of these videos along with all of our other videos. And until next time, God bless y'all. We'll see you soon.